All right, everybody, this is gonna be part two of our, our wheat update video. I'm out here on our planned graze out circle. Uh, this one we planted fully well, knew when we were gonna graze out. 120 acres in total, uh, somewhere in there. We grazed it, I mean, we grazed it down to the dirt. I mean, there's, you know, we, it's probably down to about there, you know, just, just had the little bit of stuff left. Um, running 10 inch rows on our drill. Um, this has only been watered one time this spring. We're on our second time watering it. We're putting fertilizer down. And I pulled the cattle off probably about two weeks ago, three weeks ago now. And well, I got I got one out here. Well, I got a little chronic out here. This is the best quarter of the field in, in my belief. Uh, a lot sandier. The one thing that you're gonna be able to see is like this right here. We broke this circle out. Uh, this will be its second year in production. Uh, so we still have lots of the old sod and it the ground is super hard. We, I will be I don't know if we'll see any grass come up this year out of these we might uh, we did last year we saw grass come yeah look at that uh, I don't know if you can see that there's some green I don't know if the camera's picking it up there's some green in these clods of dirt uh, yeah there's some, there's some more of it look at that so This, uh, with this ground still being, with so, you know, you, you'd think that, well, there'd be a lot of organic matter because of the grass, you know, the roots and stuff like that. But that's actually uh, a big hindrance to us as far as our wheat going. Uh, the clods, you know, it's making everything super hard and cloddy. Uh, it just, it's, it makes it pretty difficult getting a crop coming up. Then especially a crop that'll really stool out. Uh, it's difficult when we're planting it because to get the clods out, you pretty much has to be you have to disc it a couple times where it's powder dry and our drill is so heavy. And then then you have deep ridges when you're planting, uh, and it you know you get a problem with planting depth because the drill will sink in too much just because it is powder dry and it makes it hard to set it. So. We will subsoil this circle again this year. Uh, just continually trying to break up the hard pan that's in here. We were gonna do it twice last year and we had started. We had started on it, but we started getting a lot of rain and they just, I, you couldn't get across it about bury the tractor. Um, so, you know, just lots of, lots of clods like that. We will, We'll subsoil it and disc it. And I have purchased a crumbler, a rolling basket to go behind my, I'm gonna, I've got it where I can, gonna get it where I can switch, put it behind my ripper. And then mainly just to go behind the disc to help break these up. So when it comes to, uh, comes to planting this, it'll be a better seed bed. When we kind of get away from the, when we get away from the the problem of the clods, we with the ripper that we have, we can do a lot of uh, it, you know it's it's tillage, but it's you know they call it a no-till ripper, and it just leads a tiny little crack if you're doing it right. We'll we'll do it where we can drag that crumbler behind it and seal up any trench or just kind of help level it out, and we'll just no-till everything in because you know we we're losing moisture every time we take a disc across the ground and that's something we can't afford to do uh, it cost us a tremendous amount of money to put water down uh, you know everyone's moaning and groaning about the rain they're getting and stuff like that well what you guys don't realize is this water 
coming out of the ground isn't as good as rainwater. It's it doesn't have everything from the atmosphere in it. So it takes more irrigation water to grow something than just standard rainwater. Well, to put down an inch of water cost me about a thousand dollars. So you figure you know, you figure you guys are getting rain. Well, this probably take a couple inches of irrigation water to in, equal one inch of rainwater. And it, it gets really expensive really quickly. And that's, that's just the joys of irrigated farming. But, you know, it, then you can associate land costs and stuff like that. So, we take any amount of rain we can get. We finally had a quarter of an inch since the 30th of September. I got my, got my dog with me. We were cleaning pivot nozzles. So, that's kind of, that gives you kind of an idea. I'm not just bitching to hear myself bitch, but that gives you somewhat of an idea of kind of the cost associated with turning these things on. And, and it's not cheap, it really isn't. So, but we, we, you know, we just, we haven't had any moisture, so we're definitely having to, having to get them watered. Here's, here's a spot where I got my tractor stuck last year. Um, it, when it, I had subsold this thing and it had rained so much, well, then it was time to disc everything. Well, I've, right here, there's a little path right here where this got ripped twice, because I ripped it all going like that, and then I ripped it coming across here like this. Well, I didn't get a lot of it done. I had to, you know, probably maybe 30, 40 yards across here. Well, I was coming across here disking, and there was, you know, just a little dampness. And all of a sudden, that tractor just dropped into its axles. And I was just like, oh, man. And it made one hell of a mess through here. I got it smoothed out with a disc. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I definitely got the hard pan broke up for at least, you know, 30 yards across here. I'll go check my kith. Um, this... We, we can, I mean, we can turn calves out anytime, but we're gonna probably in the next week, we'll start turning calves out. Ooh, little bit of water there. Just a running. Quite a bit of water running around here. Let's see how many holes I can make. So this is a, a chronic calf, and she got microplasm, and I mean, she's nice front end on her. She's all sunk in in the back end. So, she's just going to live out here for the next several months till she gets better. But anyways, that's what this circle looks like. 